Hi, how are things? Say, no matter how much experience you've had in public speaking, you'll still get cold feet for a few minutes at first. That's very normal. By the way, in common expression, get cold feet or get cold fingers means really get frozen when the feet and fingers exposed in cold temperatures. In this case, it calls frostbite. This time, we'll practice with get cold feet. All right, let's practice and do more parroting with this idiom. Get cold feet, or the same meaning as get nervous. Let's begin with a mini dialogue first. A is expressing its worrying feeling to B. A said, "Hey Billy, 다음 주에 연설한다고 들었는데 밥 먹지 않았으면 좋겠어." Emily, I heard you are giving a speech next week, and I hope you don't get cold feet. Emily, I heard you are giving a speech next week. And I hope you don't get cold feet. Emily, I heard you are giving a speech next week, and I hope you don't get cold feet. Emily, 다음 주에 연설한다고 들었는데 밥 먹지 않았으면 좋겠어. Your turn. Emily, I heard you are giving a speech next week, and I hope you don't get cold feet. B answered. 그래. 걱정 마. 난 괜찮을 거야. Yes, don't worry. I'll be fine. Yes, don't worry. I will be fine. Yes, don't worry. I'll be fine. 그래. 걱정 마. 난 괜찮을 거야. Your turn. Yes, don't worry. I'll be fine. All right. Thank you for being here, and please stay until the end of the lesson. Great. Next, we will practice a few more phrases and sentences with this idiom: "Get cold feet." Are you ready? Let's get started. Number one. 선생님이 내 이름을 부를 때마다 나는 항상 겁을 먹어. I always get cold feet whenever teacher calls my name. I always get cold feet whenever teacher calls my name. I always get cold feet whenever teacher calls my name. 선생님이 내 이름을 부를 때마다 나는 항상 겁을 먹어. Your turn. I always get cold feet whenever teacher calls my name. Number two. 다음은 내 차례야. 준비됐니? 밥 먹지 마라. Next is your turn. Are you ready? Do not get cold feet. Next is your turn. Are you ready? Do not get cold feet. Next is your turn. Are you ready? Do not get cold feet. 다음은 내 차례야. 준비됐니? 밥 먹지 마라. It's your turn. Next is your turn. Are you ready? Do not get cold feet. Number three. 선생님이 그녀를 부르자 그녀는 겁을 먹었다. She got cold feet when the teacher called her. She got cold feet when the teacher called her. She got cold feet when the teacher called her. Call her. 선생님이 그녀를 부르자 그녀는 겁을 먹었다. Your turn. She got cold feet when the teacher called her. Number four. 그는 사람들이 그가 거짓말쟁이라는 것을 알았을 때 겁을 먹었다. He got cold feet when people found out that he was a liar. He got cold feet when people found out that he was a liar. He got cold feet when people found out that he was a liar. 그는 사람들이 그가 거짓말쟁이라는 것을 알았을 때 겁을 먹었다. Your turn. 
He got cold feet when people found out that he was a liar. Number five. 결혼식 날 겁을 먹었니? Did you get cold feet on your wedding day? Did you get cold feet on your wedding day? Did you get cold feet on your wedding day? 결혼식 날 겁을 먹었니? Your turn. Did you get cold feet on your wedding day? That's it. Well parroting. Now it's your turn to build your own three phrases. Please stay tuned for the next lesson 41. Do have a good day. Bye now.